Hello to everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you this very interesting motorcycle, AGP PR7. It's belonged to my friend and cameraman David. Thank you very much, David. And we're going to tell you everything about it. I'm going to ride it on and off road for a while. I'm not going to go to anything extreme. And I'm going to share my experience. Also, at the end of the video, David will share his experience with the bike at the moment that's got around 15,000 kilometers. So, we hope that this information will be useful to at least one person. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. Welcome back. Because these motorcycles are so, so difficult to find, in Bulgaria, impossible. Even in Europe, it's very, very difficult. I haven't seen one in real until now. That's why I was so happy when David contacted me and uh, told me that he's coming to Bulgaria and if I want to test the bike, there is a real possibility. So, uh, we believe that this information, the one that we're going to share today, uh, will help many people to get at least uh, one idea what bike it is. So, let me start with walk around and give you some specifications. It is 600cc single cylinder and it delivers around 54 horsepower, the original model, but the one that David got, it's without catalytic converter and it's got 64 horsepower. It's weight around 160 kilograms, fully loaded, and the petrol tank is here underneath. It is only 17 liters, but because it is under the seats, it helps with this low center of gravity or the weight distribution. It has 21 inch front wheel, 18 on the back and it has upside down such forks, 48 millimeters. So the suspension is really good. It is also completely tuned for David. Uh, the clearance is around 300 millimeters. He lowered it down with a little bit to be easy for him. David, is this the original seat? Yes. This is the original seat. Okay, good. Of course, he, he has a lot of changes here for the saddle box and this luggage rack is it's not stock and uh, yeah he also made a lot of changes and modifications here so we cannot really show you the stock motorcycle it's also with tablet but not that big this one is made from him uh, originally it has this dashboard small dashboard on the bottom to show the most important information and then the tablet with the rest so this is uh, customized not exactly or what you're gonna see on the original model uh, here on the front he also changed the, the the lights itself but this is the original yeah yes. this is the original this is the original windscreen how is with the wind protection uh pretty good until uh, 100 120 okay okay i'm gonna check it later anyway uh it comes with this high fender good for off-roading bash plate yeah single exhaust uh, steel frame even the rear side here the subframe is also steel so it is possible to have a, a normal luggage it's not like a KTM modem from aluminum fragile the weight of this model is around 160 kilograms fully loaded with 17 liters of petrol 2 liters of oil and antifreeze the air filter is here easy to access it even on the road you can just unscrew these four bolts change it clean it whatever you want to make this makes it uh, very good for traveling one downside is that uh, the oil change intervals are only 5000 kilometers if you ask me this is normal but many people won't like it the price of the model the price of, of this model actually is around 11000 euros but the the cheaper option that they've got it's 1000 euros less so what is the difference that this one is without catalytic converter and also it's got a different map and that's why it's get this like almost 10 horsepower more but the most important is uh, what is the feeling when you ride it uh, how good it is on the road because uh, it is adventure motorcycle and uh, if you focus only on the dirt roads that's fine but when you when you've got the adventure motorcycle you have to spend many many hours on the roads to get to the proper dirt roads especially in Europe and that's why uh, I plan to ride it now for a while to see how it is and then we'll come back here 
in my new YouTube studio and tell you my opinion about it. Let me first start the engine. I like the, the sounds of the tumper. Okay. Nice suspension. Magura clutch. Uh, as soon I I got the bike, I felt this power. It has so much. It's 60. Uh, four horsepower or whatever they are are such so noticeable because the bike is light it's 160 kilograms and uh, as soon as you hit the road you feel it the first problem i noticed here going down that the brakes are not what i have to expect especially when you go down the rear look very easy and uh, you have to be careful while you ride but once i got into the road Oh man, this is absolutely pure fun. On this type of old twisty roads, it is fantastic to ride it. Uh, as I said, it breathes so well, so easy. And when you twist the throttle, it's just flying. It is fantastic power. But again, the brakes are a reminder that you have to be careful because this is not a bike for everyone. Uh, you need to think maybe twice, three times before you, you twist the throttle somewhere here i tested the brakes and i realized man they're they're not what they have to be they stop but not what i need something like my old tenure and with this power this is dangerous as i said this is not a bike for everyone definitely not for new riders because it could be very very dangerous the mirrors the visibility in the mirrors is not very good maybe because of my jacket i cannot really see well the vibrations are fine but they are they are vibrations not that bad but they are vibrations but again the power as soon as i start climbing this this is something like a hill you can't really see it here on the camera but you just twist the throttle and the motorcycle is going and going and when i hit this bumpy roads it's just ask you to stand on the pegs and you flying over it it's, a, it's a, such a pleasure i would like to have this type of suspension on on my tenere even if the terrain became harder, it's not a problem at all. It just goes and goes and goes. Doesn't matter how big the potholes are, it's just flying over it. Fantastic power and great suspension. This is what I can say so far. So finally here I decided to go to this uh, like a single track. Nothing technical, it is not my bike. But it's not a problem to change the lanes from left to right to go over the rocks or some bumps. It's just without any single problem. In my opinion, this is like a big dirt bike in adventure skin or, or something like that. And uh, it doesn't matter how big the, the holes or the bumps are, it's never hit the bottom. And the power, of course, is there. Whatever you need it, you twist the throttle and you fly. And it's so easy to control it and it's go exactly where you need where you point it it's just go and the best of everything is that uh, when you finish the ride you can go on the street like i did here and then enjoy the ride in my opinion the cruising speed of this motorcycle is around 100 kilometers per hour or maybe maximum 110 with 4000 rpms from maximum eight but on that speed you can even leave leave the handlebar and stay absolutely stable no shaking no no problems at all it's not like a ktm it is different and the vibrations are i will say a little bit less than ktm 690 for example or this type of, of motorcycles so yeah the windscreen work work well and yeah so far i was very very happy with the result and the best of everything is as i said you ride on the road and then you see a nice dirt track or something and you can just turn and go there and enjoy it without any problems once again here i'm riding with about 50 60 maybe 70 kilometers per hour on these bumps and holes and it's like riding on the flat road the suspension once again maybe for 10 times already is absolutely great and i would like to have it on my motorcycle unfortunately it is not but it is what it is but i enjoyed so so much so much 
When you ride on terrains like this, you can't really feel the brakes because you don't really need it here. What you need is just a throttle and a nice grip with the tires. But uh, once you get to the normal roads, then you feel it. It is a, a different story. Uh, this big tablet, I don't know why he installed it. In my opinion, yeah, maybe it's a good option. So back on, on these twisty roads and, and more pleasure with this bike, uh, I, I was absolutely uh, blast here, absolutely pleasure. But again, you have to keep in mind that uh, once you accelerate so fast, and then you have to be able to stop. So in my opinion, this motorcycle, I will say it again, it's definitely not for new riders. Uh, I think that you should have at least a couple of years riding experience on motorcycles without any traction control or ABS, otherwise this machine could be very very dangerous for someone especially uh, when they try to race or, or do something like that i don't know it's 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 a raw machine not for everyone and as i said many will love it i love it honestly but many will hate it so i don't know it's uh, in my opinion wonderful bike like a big dirt bike is it good for traveling yeah why not but with some something in uh, your mind. So? What a wonderful toy you have. <laughs> this is just brilliant. Oh, I enjoyed so much. Okay, David, first, thank you very much. It was thank you. my pleasure. I enjoyed so much. Uh, the questions that I've got to you are mm. mostly focused on the, mm. the things that you know until this moment. I understand that it's a new bike, bike you don't have much experience, but what about reliability? What about finding a dealer and stuff like that? Can you please answer these questions? Yeah, so AGP is a small brand yeah. and um, my experience it's only a French experience yeah. and it's kind of difficult to, to find one, to test one and to find dealers so mm. and right now with the um, pandemic it's very difficult if you buy one to receive it okay. but um, i have the chance to get one and for the reliability it's difficult also to say because they don't sell a lot of bikes so it's difficult to have a stat good statistic it's not like ATM or there, there like no that. people to share their experience yes. that's why this but, video is so important yeah, now, yeah. but um, there are a lot of travelers who use it a lot. It's okay. mean, okay. Uh, some people go until Japan with uh, 80,000 kilometers without any problems. Other people break the engine around 30,000 kilometers, mm -hmm. but they too less experience to say something yeah. about the reliability. So the bike here for the moment, it's around Eight, um, 15,000 kilometers. I'm going for five months, and uh, at you the end of it. August, I can tell you more about it. Okay. There is no electronic, everything. It's very easy to, to do. So, even if you have some problems, it's very, very easy to do mechanics on it. Yeah, the spark plug is easy. Really yes. yes, and everything is under the seat, if you want to see. Yes, please. Uh, ton côté. I see all the electronics. Yes. Everything. So the only electronic is the ECU. You see, you have the um, gas filter, the battery, and the, um, uh, um, the gas pump. Mm -hmm. it, pump, yeah. They have the fuel pump in there, and um, yeah. yeah. So this is here. Yeah. Is this the original battery or did yes. you change it? Original. Oh, original. Yes, the stock okay. one, and so here, here to fuel the tank. Yes. Easy to access and the here. Here filter here. So you can work easy on the road with this. Yes. As I told you, in my opinion, it is just uh, a, a dirt bike, big dirt bike, mm. which is. Perfect if you go on the off roads, but how you feel it on the road? Okay, I've got now a little experience, but how you feel it on the road? Yeah, for me, 
Uh, it's a very interesting bike on the road because um, if you ride less than 100, 120 kilometers, um, the wind protection is enough, the comfort of the seat, it, of the seat it's enough for me. It's the same than my um, Turatec seat on my 800 GS and I can stay 10 or 12, 12 hours on a day on the bike. So it's enough for me. And um, the engine and the bike, it's very easy to use, especially when the, you have very bad weather conditions. And so you can forget the bike. And if you want to play with the bike, it's very easy. You just twist, twist the throttle and you have enough power on the road. What about brakes? The brakes. So there is no ABS. <laughs> yeah, so there is no ABS. So you need to be very carefully when you use it and you need to adjust very well between the front and the rear. If not, the rear brake uh, the, and the rear um, le, yes, will block. So uh, yes, you need a little bit experience, but you know, the first um, travel bike I had was a DR, yeah. Suzuki DR. So, so you've got your experience. Yes. So for me, it's the kind of hold bike with a um, very m easy maintenance, but with a new, uh, new suspension, new engine, and new specs. So it's, um, for me, it's very efficient. And what is very important for me for travel bike, it's very, very easy, whatever the condition, when you need to put the stand, when you need to go back, when you need uh, everything. So it's very easy, very simple bike. So that's why and I take a lot of fun with it, so. And now, one very logical question, very simple. Mm -hmm. Be careful with your answer because you have to be honest from okay, inside. Yes. If you got the chance, would you buy it again? Um, I'll tell you more when I go back of my trip. Uh, you will tell me, you will tell me, but tell me now, before you know the, the difference. Okay. Um, tell me after 15,000 kilometers. Yes, for me, it's a reliability, it's okay. Okay. I will buy it again. You will buy it yes. again. But I cannot tell you exactly about the variability. Yeah. But for me, and for me, and also for my way of travel, mm -hmm. it's perfect bike for me. Yes. Good. And um, that's what I buy it because I taste a lot of time. And um, before I have a 800 GS, but it's heavier, and especially in off road, you know that. You hit the <clears> bottom all the time. Yes. And um, so for traveling and also because I have time, I'm not obliged to do a lot of many, many yeah. kilometers in a day. I can't, I can't take the time. And so it's good bike for that. And also because it's very simple, uh, even if the maintenance intervals. Yeah, they, right. they can be fixed. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you very much to you. Thank you once again for coming, for yes. let me write and okay. everything. So as I said, for me, uh, I'm not that rich to afford to, to experiment. That's why I prefer uh, the Tenere because it's a well-proven brand and I want to have many, many travel free kilometers. This, this bike is definitely great fun to ride and I would like to have one of these, but I just cannot risk. Maybe you like the risk more than me. <laughs> Maybe you can afford more than me, whatever. We hope that this information will help to someone to make the right decisions. Thank you very much for watching these long videos. Always ride safe and see you next time. Ciao.